Hey folks, CM here, and uh, for those not familiar with my videos and are just here to see a Terminator video, hey man or woman, I'm Potor Gargak, and welcome to my channel. Haven't done one of these casual audio video log things in a while, but uh, last night was my birthday, and I went to go see the new Terminator movie with my family. Terminator's been sort of a Gagic family tradition. Watched one and two on video with my dad when I was like, fuck six or seven or something. He, we went and saw T3 when it came out in theaters, along with Salvation, so Terminator and Arnold in general hold a special place in my heart. So, Terminator Genwysis, uh, mixed feelings going in, uh, trailers looked interesting, and then cool, and then terrible, and then kinda cool again. Uh, Terminators that age, uh, John Connor as a villain, alternate timelines, whoa man. I will say right out the gate that this movie was surprisingly good, uh, easily better than Salvation and T3, and I don't even dislike T3. Besides John Connor being a little wiener, I actually find that movie to be really fun and have some cool action sequences. The gist of uh, Genesis is you've got it starting out with the plot of the first film. Kyle Reese is being sent back to 1984 to protect John... Uh, to protect Sarah Connor, sorry. Uh, the mother of mankind's last hope. John Connor from uh, T-800. A cyborg bodybuilder assassin with a wicked awesome dress sense called the Terminator. It's hitting all the same beats until Kyle Reese is chased by the T-1000 from T-2 and an aged T-800 shows up to fight the T-800 sent back to kill Sarah. Everything has somehow changed. Uh, in this timeline, Terminators were sent back to Sarah's childhood to try and kill her there, and a good Terminator was also sent back to protect her. So since like the 1970s, like 1970 something, Sarah and an aging T-800 have been awaiting the arrival of evil 1984 Terminator and Kyle Reese. In this timeline, Judgment Day happens in 2017, and Skynet is going by a different name, uh, Genesis, some new interweb app thing uh, that can be hooked into everything. And spoiler, except not so much, because they revealed that in every recent trailer, John Connor is the bad guy now. Right as Kyle Reese is being sent to 1984, he's captured by Skynet, uh, John is, and infused with, like, nanomachine technology or some shit. It's pretty cool, actually. I was worried he'd be another, like, T-1000, TX type thing, like in T-2 and 3, but they did go a different route. I mean, he can shapeshift into different people, but he doesn't do the Silver Surfer thing. It, it's like rapidly regenerating robot stuff, and when you see it in action, it's really quite cool. At least I found it to be. I enjoyed the movie overall. Uh, Amelia Clark uh, was great as Sarah. Jason Clark did a damn good job as John. Uh, even the T-1000 guy, uh, whose name escapes me right now, I, I think he was Storm Shadow in the G.I. Joe movies, was really quite fucking good. Uh, he, he totally had a Robert Patrick vibe to him. Arnold, as always, a treat. And my thoughts on the whole body double face map with uh, CG uh, for the 1984 Terminator, uh, well, I could definitely see the difference between that and the original. Some people are saying they can't and that it's a marvel in computer graphics, but I feel like that's really overselling it. They, they did, however, do an awesome job with it, and the, the fight between young Arnie and old Arnie is actually handled quite well. Uh, I was expecting them to just kill off 1984 Arnie within seconds, but he actually whoops the ever-loving shit out of old Arnie, which I was hoping would happen because, come on, the Terminator has always needed help against newer or advanced models. Really not a bad movie, and I suggest you go see it if you're a fan of the Terminator. Uh, James Cameron himself has praised it, and upon seeing it now, I feel that it isn't empty. One thing, and one thing only, bothered me throughout the film, though, and that was Jai Courtney. He's he's just a generic action guy, which uh, Kyle Reese wasn't. Uh, Michael Bean brought heaps of, of depth to that character and had a unique look. Uh, Jai did neither of those things and doesn't even look a smidge like Bean. And I get it. They're all mostly new actors playing these iconic characters. 
but they clearly cast uh, Amelia Clark because she does have a similar look to Linda Hamilton. Uh, clearly, they wanted uh, T-1000 to have a Robert Patrick vibe. I feel like Mike Vogel, Jeremy Renner, or Jensen Ackles would have fit the role a lot better. Uh, appearance and acting-wise, I feel like they each have a similar vibe to Michael Bean, whereas Jai Courtney, he... Mm, fuck being polite. He just stinks. 